stabbing somebody through the skull is really hard with human force. If you can actually get it through, you're probably not going to get it out. Oh, oh, that was not an accident. And you should be dead about... Yeah, that's pretty good timing. That was good. Hey, it's Jordan here. I'm an ER doctor, board certified in emergency medicine. We see everything from the simplest paper cut all the way to amputations, decapitations, and obviously death. Today, I will be taking a look at Dead Space. I heard of this game before. It's where this guy is up on a ship and he's got to be the engineer and kind of fix some things. I've never played it, but I've seen my buddies play it before. Please make sure that you like and subscribe to see more episodes of Experts React. Oh, it's like a laser beam plasma gun thing. Okay, all right, we got flying limbs and organs and good stuff going around. Nice, head and arm gun, a little spray blood. So this, this game's a little unique in the sense that whatever these are, die because you chop their limbs off. So if you chop your limbs off, you're still alive. That's why we have tourniquets to basically stop the bleeding. So these instantaneous deaths of the individuals or crab-like and zombie crazy things shouldn't just die immediately by getting their limbs chopped unless they have their neuro organs or their hearts are beating in their limbs. But you know, typically they should not die. Ooh. Oh, 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 three bites, that's gone. Oh, man, slice the crop. Woo! Exploding bloody faces. Can't happen. Rarely, never, ever happens. This game looks like it's taking place in space, so uh, anytime they go outside or maybe inside, depending on like the pressurized vessel versus not, so if there's not much around, you're just gonna leak out. So some of that stuff is maybe real. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it doesn't go that way. Getting a huge ropey arm, alien arm, come across your body and have a perfectly smooth cut is pretty unrealistic. You need to get like a, a massive skill saw or a circular saw to cut it like that. So it should be ripped apart, which it kind of almost is ripped. It's not a smooth cut. Losing half your torso by being hit is very unlikely. The force would just make you drop to the ground or fly around and get knocked down. It shouldn't rip you in half. Motorcycle accidents, you can potentially get lots of force and things can be ripped off your body. It basically turns it into a knife and you can get cut. Yeah, there's a lot of ripping that occurs in uh, this game and just things falling off. And again, no bleeding. Okay, somebody, oh, that's not a sterile operation. Where's your mask, lady? Just got a knife. Oh! You're not gonna die that fast with a laceration to your neck. Ooh, you know how hard it is to stab a knife through somebody's skull? It doesn't happen that easily. It bounces off. And again, it's not that much blood if you make it in there. This moment was a beautiful moment and he was summonsing the powers to be and making and then does this. Stabbing somebody through the skull is really, really, really hard with human force. It's almost like the Excalibur stuck in the, the stone. Like if you can actually get it through, you're probably not gonna get it out. It was, the skull is so thick, it's typically gonna just bounce off. The amount of times I've seen somebody stabbed in the head where it's just lacerations to the skin above it and the tissue is immense versus I've actually never seen somebody have a knife go through their skull like that. I bet it can happen, but it takes a ton of force. That's cool, it looks like a CT MRI machine here. Oh, it's like a futuristic capsule, nice. Ooh, ooh, uh, lid retractors, that's normal, that's good. Ooh, laser beam to the eye, that's not good. Oh, that's gotta be painful. The cornea has all the nerves of the eye, basically. Not the white of the eye, but the color of the eye has all the nerves. Oh, oh, that was not an accident. Oh, yeah. You don't have profuse blood bleeding out of your eyeball like that, though. <laughs> your eye cavity, uh, the eye socket goes directly to your brain on the opposite side. It might get into your nose and get some no blood coming out of your nose. That's That can happen. It could go from your nose to your mouth. 
but not that fast. And that machine is just demolishing that face. Right, so this needle going that far through the eye, the eye is probably only an inch to two inches deep, so that's definitely cracking into the brain. That's definitely not normal. Oh, 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 cutting both his uh, carotid arteries. And you should be dead about, mm, yeah, it's pretty good timing. That was good, that was good. Yeah, so this guy taking a knife, you're gonna cut the right jugular vein and carotid artery, and he moves all the way to the left. It's pretty real in how long it takes him to die. You're probably gonna take maybe a little longer than that, actually, but it's pretty good, it's not instantaneous. But the thing that's wrong is you're not going to bleed horribly from the front. You're gonna, you have a small blood vessel, but your major tubes are on the side here, protected by these muscles here called your sternocleidomastoid and some other uh, scaly muscles in the front. And so if you cut through here, they're still alive. It's like your trachea and your airway and your esophagus are in the middle. Not much blood vessels there. So it was pretty close. Oh! Dunzo, an explosion, depending on how much force, you should just get knocked out, you should have broken ribs, you'll rupture your eardrums and have some traumatic brain injury, but you shouldn't just fall to pieces like that. It's a video game. As a whole, this game, it's okay. The idea of chopping off limbs to kill these crazy, lobster crab looking creatures and then you had some scorpion one baby scorpions in there it was cool uh there are different things that i like that you can have used like a plasma ray and they were doing surgeries in this game but overall it was good the bleeding was good the blood was good i wanted to see more anatomy though i needed to see more tissue things fly and more bones and i've seen everything through a paper cut to loss of limbs amputations and of course death <laughs> And a cat. And a, and a cat. And a cat with a camera. <laughs> Can you hear that? Cue the cat. That was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs>